Hi everyone, my name is Jackie and I am the Floor Programs Manager here at the Franklin Institute. I'm here to show you one of our favorite experiments that we do here with our live science show, The Weather Show. Um, now this experiment is super, super fun, but it is also pretty dangerous. So, if you do want to see this happen in real life, please come on down to the Franklin Institute. We would be happy to show you any of these experiments. But please, don't try this at home. All right, so what I have here is a Pyrex bowl with a little bit of fun cotton balls inside. Now I'm going to spray an ingredient uh, that is very, very flammable. Now flammable, if you don't know what that means, is that it can catch on fire very, very quickly. And we are going to show you a fire tornado. Now, a fire tornado can happen in real life. It all depends on how much wind is all around. Now with a regular tornado, the wind can move up to really, really fast speeds. And it starts from the cloud and goes down. Now, because we don't have a cloud here, I'm actually gonna use this bowl as my cloud. And it's gonna look upside down. So the cyclone is gonna start from the bottom and go up. Now, to do a fire tornado, we need fire. All right. Now, as you can see, my fire tornado is not doing much, right? So we're going to use these two glass frames here to create what we call, for a tornado, shearing wind. Now this shearing wind, as you can see, is starting to create this really fast rotation. If you can see the tornado, it's starting to start from the very bottom and work its way up. If I get it a little bit closer, it's a little bit smaller. If I go a little bit further away, it gets even smaller. And eventually, it will die out. So let me add just a little bit more fuel, but I wanna make sure that the fire is out first. You never wanna make sure that you spray fuel onto these cotton balls. That would be very, very dangerous. Spraying my fuel again. And adding some fire. Ooh. Okay. Now again, we're gonna create some shearing wind, which means just a bunch of different kinds of winds all together so that it can take our tornado and make it fly. Pretty cool stuff, right? Now, with all of these different experiments, we can talk about how weather is controlled and we can learn all about what we can do for meteorologists to learn to make sure that we are safe in our weather environment. Thanks so much.